I have an LSM 303 magnetometer here on this board and it's a pretty good magnetometer. It's hooked up to an AVR and it's uh, done through the I2C bus and I have that hooked up to my computer. But uh, what I'd like to mention today is for a long time people have been using magnetic rotary encoders. The idea is you take a magnet, which I have sitting inside of here, and it's actually oriented. So like that way is north and that way is south instead of that side being north and that side being south. And this is just a regular rare earth magnet in here. Ideally what you would do is you'd have your sensor and without any contact you could put the magnet on the back of your sensor and you could tell the orientation of the magnet. So this is really useful if you can't really use optical encoders or physical encoder like a potentiometer. But there's one thing that I found out with this magnetometer that's really cool. What I can do is I can simply put the uh, the magnetometer down. Let's uh, zoom out some here. Put that down here. And I can put, instead of having it in line, I can put the, uh, the, the magnet that I'm checking just about, you know, anywhere. So what I can do now is I can reset on the screen. So now it's just reset so it's all zeroed. And I'm going to rotate the, the magnet one full orientation. Uh, maybe I messed that up. Let me try it again. I think it was a little bit overloaded. Let's try that again. Okay. Okay. And... Okay, so now, even though the magnet is not in plane at all with the magnetometer, I can tell the orientation of the magnet simply by rotating it anywhere. That means that I can measure the, the orientation of an object that's a long ways away from the thing that I'm using to measure it. This could be useful for all sorts of unusual rotary uh, encoding options. Enco rotary encoding things that you'd want to do to figure out what the rotation of something is, say like stepper motors or drives or just about anything else. So uh, I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool that you can now get the rotary position of something using something very, very, well, a couple of inches away. So yeah, I thought it was pretty neat.